Hi, Don Lewis here. Welcome to this video tutorial showing you how to make an interactive shutter card without fancy expensive dies. I have pre-cut all of these pieces here and I'm going to walk you through the process and show you how easy it is to make this very cool card. We're going to start by making a gatefold card base. This is a sheet of A5 cardstock, which is half an A4 sheet. And when I say A4, I'm talking Australian A4. The measurements are all in the top left corner and you can see I've scored five and a quarter centimeters in from each edge. While we're scoring, we'll do the center panel as well. I'm going to switch between inches and centimeters a little bit but just because these some of these measurements are just easier explained in inches so I'm doing a quarter inch fold each end of this piece and to get it right I've done the first one as a guesstimate and I'm using the card base as a guide to make sure I get the other side correct these squares are three and a half inches and they are contrasting color they're going to form our shutter pieces on the inside i am going to score a half inch line just once on each of these pieces and that is all of our scoring done the next thing for us to do is go through and fold all of those scored lines, reinforce them with a bone folder. Now I'm using a Teflon one because I wanted to see what the fuss was about. Honestly, I'm not that fussed on it. Uh, you want to make sure that your gatefold meets in the middle properly before you really score that line down, just so the whole thing is flat and even and it's lovely. It's worked really well. And let's pay attention to our middle piece because we need a window for the shutter effect to work. I've used a circle cutting system to cut a slightly smaller uh, circle in the center there and um, we now have to do some measuring to get our shutter pieces to look the way they need to look so I'm using an inch measurement ruler here I'm marking two inches in from the edge where the scored line is it's not folded down this piece is out flat and then I've just marked halfway up that line so you can see this little piece it's two inches in from the edge there but it's halfway up the line so we're going to go from that halfway point that's two inches in and rule well cut all the way down to that bottom right hand corner we're going to do the same thing going from the center up to that upper right hand corner now what this leaves us with is a pennant like this banner kind of thing save the triangle cut out piece and do um, remember to erase your line rather do it than doing those measurements every single time let's use the first one as a template to cut the second piece now if you think you're going to make a lot of these shutter cards because honestly they are easy and they are fun why not make one template that you use over and over again you could make it from template plastic or you could make it from cardstock whatever you have on hand now we need to check that it works and look at that it creates the shutter effect like a camera shutter very cool we need strong adhesive i'm using express it double-sided tape starting with six millimeter and then adding a little three mil down the bottom i really want this to hold this card is really fun to open and close and i don't want it to fall apart in the recipient's hands so the next piece we're going to add adhesive to is that center panel on those quarter inch folded sections just a little three mil double-sided tape across there I do want to dress up the front of this like having it just stark white is a bit bleh, you know it's a bit boring so I'm adding some quarter inch strips now all of the colors that I've chosen today I pulled them from my stash what I did was I dug into my pre-colored image little bowl that I have I pulled out the pieces that I want something I thought would be fun in a reveal card like this one and then I chose all my colors based on the pieces that I'd already colored in so there's not going to be a coloring in portion to this video I actually didn't record when I colored these in I colored them in sitting on the lounge in front of the TV one night when I was unwell uh, so we're going to stick this center panel in centered between those fold lines just at the bottom now to line up the shutter pieces the adhesive is up it's lined up so that there's an even white pie piece it's it's centered and it's just on the fold line and see how when i fold the gate card down the edge of it matches the very top point of that shutter now we're going to put in the matching one we're going to turn it around again adhesive side up put it up to the fold on the gate fold card make sure it's lined up with the other shutter piece fold it over and it picks it up 
and we've got our shutter mechanism. Absolutely amazing. Now, to make it a shutter card, it needs a surprise inside. So this is the first image that I'm using. Uh, all the images and sentiments I'm using today are from a set called Get Well Wishes by Darcy's Heart and Home. They make the most adorable stamps. They're so cute. And if you're looking for them in Australia, you can get them at dawnlewis.com.au. So I have a template also to make sure that the piece I want is going to line up inside. And you can find that template over on the blog. Some photos are there. I have erased any adhesive with a Zyron adhesive eraser, stamped my sentiment so much easier while everything is flat to get a good image. And now I've lined it up so that the shutter piece is going to interlock. So the upper right, upper left is over the top and the lower right is over the top. Now it's time to stick down the top section and you'll notice I struggled with that and the right hand side is difficult to close. And I'm going to pause it here to tell you I made a mistake and here's how I could have fixed it. I needed a quarter inch at the top and you can see that green shutter thing is too close to the top. I have just tucked it around the green but it's made it difficult to open and close. So I could have just trimmed down the green shutter pieces about an eighth of an inch top and bottom or just move cut the circle next time or just cut it a little further down. So it's a it's an easy fix and there'll be more details on my blog which I'll link to in the description box. I have decorated the front of the card, but I wanted to keep it fairly simple. So this is very plain pattern paper from my stash. And these are the triangle sections that we cut out from the pennants. Why throw them away? Why not use them? They've got this directionality, which kind of invites people to open the card. And there you can see you've got your surprise inside, but it's bulky and it doesn't close flat. And we don't like that. So in this case, I'm going to make a belly band. Again, from the same plain pattern paper, it's about, oh, about two inches wide, I think. And I'm just making it tight enough to hold the card together, but not so tight that it's impossible to remove and put back on. You know, you've got to find this, strike a balance between how, how it is. It should slide freely, but not just fall off. I created a centerpiece from this Darcy's Heart and Home set. Isn't it a gorgeous, cute little set? It's so cute. I My first job was working in a pharmacy, so this one, I've got a real soft spot for this set. Now, normally I would have peeled all of that adhesive off the back, but if I did that, it would stick to the card, not just the belly band. And when someone opened it, they'd rip the whole thing. So I've laid my piece here on top of the belly band, so it's giving me a guide as to where to put my adhesive. And now when I stick it down, it's just stuck to the belly band and it's going to slide freely off the card. Look at that. The recipient slides the belly band off. They open it. They go, oh, isn't that cute? They read your message and it's a wonderful card. Now I'm sure you have some great stamps that would be fun for this peekaboo, shutter kind of fun, interactive card. So have a little look and have a think about what you could use for this. I do hope you enjoyed this fun interactive card tutorial, especially for those of you on a budget who really can't afford to invest in those really expensive die sets, but want to make the fun cards. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hey, why not subscribe and hit notifications so you see every time there's a new video. If you're looking for Darcy's Heart and Home, you can find it in Australia at dawnlewis.com.au. Meanwhile, I do hope that you have a very crafty day and I will see you next time. Bye for now.